welcome back everybody supreme family garden here and today guys we are going to show you our hoss avocado that i grew from seed about four years ago okay in our previous avocado videos we actually shown this to you guys now take a look at this guys this is it's no more than four years old all right do i know the correct age no and i don't want to come on tv and tell a tale so we're gonna just say four years old so guys planting your avocado from seed this is what you can expect in four years the pro proper soil proper drainage okay now i've never pruned this baby okay and look at it guys This is actually grown this year. Um, what are we in now? June. I, I think in the last two months, it's probably given me about two feet of growth. Okay. And in this area, I have not been using a lot of fertilizers. But what I am doing is I'm creating the proper microclimate for this area. Some of you guys may look and say, oh my God, Supreme has all these trees cluttered together. I actually got this idea I was down south in uh, Miami and I was at uh, one of my well, one of my friends home and this is how they were actually growing a lot of tropical trees okay and the success that they were having was phenomenal so I said you know what I'm gonna try the same thing see right here these are my pineapple plants that I actually transplanted in this area here I'm trying to keep a lot of my tropicals together so when the winter months come what I've been doing is I had an outlet installed right over here honey if you want to take the camera down in there right back there so I can run lights back here and I build like a little greenhouse effect just to keep them warm on the nights that is dropping down below 30 degrees okay and I just tee off right at the roof of um, the garage there okay but now back to the tree I am and ah when I look at this you know when we grow something guys especially from a seed yourself and you have success like this it's amazing it is amazing now there I, I think uh, last year I probably dumped about a hundred pounds of compost actually in this area here but I don't do it a lot and I do use a um, um, what's that stuff baby the, for the bugs and stuff what I'm trying to say? Coffee? No, honey. The the uh, I use a um what we spray in the house for the bugs in the yard and stuff. I do use that when I put the compost because this is so close to the home. Okay, I do spray all the perimeter. And again, I'm gonna show you guys. All right, how this actually looks down here. Okay, without seeing any bugs because when you're doing compost next to your home, guys, it, it can be detrimental. You know, you want to make sure you everything the right way not the internet way the right way for your home because some people can use compost and if you're not putting some type of chemical to uh, detour those bugs man you're gonna have an infestation out of this world and that's something we didn't want using compost so close to the home but look at what we have here all right now this is a um, avocado grown from seed video but since we're here honey if it's all right with you I'm going to show them a little bit more parts of the little tropical island. Okay. Because I don't get paid for this, so I just like to show you guys when I have a day off on what we got going on. Okay. And um, this is a mango tree here. It, it didn't make it. The cold knocked the back. And these are just nuts where we rake the yard and things just starting to grow up. You know, I bet I could put these in the pot and save me some acorn trees, ain't it, baby? So, while you guys are watching, I'm just going to pull some of this stuff out just to clean up. And all these are just nuts, acorns, guys, from the mycorrhiza attaching itself to it in this area, and it's just growing. So guys, when you're um, growing your seed, once your plant, we waited till our plant got about three foot tall, and then we put it in the ground, okay? So just give that baby time enough to establish itself, then plant it. Take a mulch, uh, leaf mold, and 
and she's gonna grow. And believe it or not, I think in one of our other videos, I actually showed you, she actually had blossoms on her, but it got cold the following night and it knocked them off. So I was amazed by that because again, this is grown from seed. Now honey, let's show them that there is no graft line on this particular tree because we don't want people to think we telling them tales. See here guys, there's no graft on this tree. See you guys where I cover it up every year and I should have seen because now for me not you don't want to make this mistake guys because then you can get root rot right in here I gotta get this thank you Lord for having me come out here I was gonna lose this tree and I was gonna be safe it's gonna hurt me to my heart and now back here let's go this way baby Here, this is uh, mangoes. This is actually a star fruit tree. Now, the one on the other side, I'm gonna do a star fruit video on that one as well. She's actually, oh, actually, look at here, honey. This one's blossoming as well. So, we have to remember these dates, um, like the first week of June down here in Central Florida. That's when our star fruit are actually, um, they start blooming. And um, these are mangoes that we've had. And here, back here, guys, these are some of our other pineapples that we did had on the other side of the property. I actually transplanted them over here. And that transplant success is very good because if you can look, everything is beautiful in this area, okay? Because what happens in the evening time, that heat, this concrete absorbs the heat and then it radiates out. And it's what's given this area that nice subtropical climate. Because some people think that, um, that just because we're in Florida, everything is easy to grow. But it's, it depends on where you're located in Florida. And where we are, it does get cold, okay? Like Dan down in um, Dan's Organic Food Forest, I think he's like an hour and a half south of us he's in a little bit better climate than what we are up here we get probably like 15 maybe 20 degrees about 15 degrees um cooler than he does in his area and um again most of these were actually bought um at excalibur nursery and our local um lowe's and um, home depot and these guys were actually like a five gallon pot when we bought them last year and look at the growth on them. All right, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Supreme Family Garden. Honey, you gotta come to me. <laughs> Jesus now. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Um, hope you guys liked the video today. Thank you so very much for watching. Better yards, better gardens. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. You like when I sing, don't you? I do. See, my wife knew I was in with the with the Jackson Five a long time ago. What happened? Rest is old Michael Jackson. They knew I could sing better than him, so they kicked me out. <laughs> you know that's what happened. I was supposed to be on TV, but don't worry, I still would have found you, baby. Still would have found you, girl. See you guys on next video. Thank you so very much for watching.